the deal, what's the deal, YouTube? It's your boy Odium Smith, man. I wanted to talk about the little jinx to this shit, right? Look, the little jinx interview and all that, man. Listen, man, cuz. All right. On the, we're going to say the jinx interview, but not even on the no jumper shit, right? On the jinx interview. Let's, let's get there first, right? So on the jinx interview, like I, like they said, I got there two hours late. They already had, they, um, conversation and what how they was gonna come with the with the episode or not. I get there, of course, I'm getting there, I don't drink or nothing, you know what I'm saying? I don't do no drinking guys. So I'm you know what I'm saying, what's going on, this and that. Oh yeah, bam. Alright, cool. On Jesus Moon, I set up almighty situation. And I said about T Real. Only thing I had Almighty in the beginning before this situation was the T Real situation. T Real situation, it was a hundred crips, one of the different niggas called in about cuz. Ask T Real. It's just simple. I told this to Almighty at the jump, no jumper on the hood. So everything I was saying on that stuff episode, I told him, you doing all this, stand in this lane, you doing too much. All the, all this shit I said, bro, I told, bro. We didn't sit there talk for 20 some minutes just for no reason. All right. You know what I'm saying? So like I said, I just got there and like I told him, I told him like, man, listen, Nobody gonna do nothing, don't say nothing to you, cuz nothing. Stay professional on the dead homies. Now, if nigga got, that, that you, if that you professional cut nigga out of this lane, my nigga, don't trip. I got you. Relax. Just stay professional. Now, if they doing too much, you know what I'm saying? It's not whatever. Don't trip. Just stay professional. You know what I'm saying? All that you want to hit nigga that because in the other interview, right, he said that he want Almighty to hit him. So once the cameras went off, fuck the cameras, yo. We on camera, we doing whatever, I'm loaded. We talking our shit. Once the camera go off, I tell him, bro, don't let nobody hit you, bro. Don't, no, that's not the way to go. If that's the way you trying to do it, bro, don't even think about fighting. Don't real shit. Don't let nobody hit you, bro. That's not how we rock it. He said in the episode, I'm, I'm on, I don't want to know what I'm but I'm going I'm I'm to hit him. He'll hit me. So I'm telling him, no, that's not it. <laughs> for, for sure. Because, nigga, guess, I'd be doing a lot of shit to just think I'm going to just go up, oh, yeah, and oh, I'm going to see this, play Kelpie and say, fuck it. I'm going to see this situation. I'm going to say, fuck it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just start fighting for some, anybody in the world. No. My thing was to give him the smartest advice. So what you want to do is give him advice. Look, that ain't the way to go. If you go in there, you're going to be professional. You listen to that woo, woo, woo. If you go in there on some bullshit, let me know. You know what I'm saying? We can, you do this bullshit, nigga, we can, it's, it's up, you up. You know what I'm saying? You're going to make it go out by or whatever. He say, I'm being professional. I want them to post it. I'm trying to get my story out. It's not something to holler at cuz. We're going to talk before we get there. So before you even say, I'm going to holler at him. Man, Almighty sat there, we chopped it up. Man, look, you know what I'm saying? Just give Lil Cuz get a chance to say his little shit. Give Cuz a snack. All right. I got you, bro. I'm not gonna be the one to do this. I'm not gonna be the one to do that. For sure. For sure. You know what I'm saying? For sure, don't, that's cool. That's you know what I'm saying. Just don't, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna keep, you know what I'm saying? We gonna talk our shit, but as long as he don't keep on saying with the other shit, we straight. Bam. That's why if, if I'm Kelpie gonna be here. I want just him to talk because he just say, "Oh, this that you shouldn't just no." It's cool. We popping our shit on on, on podcast on on Crip, dead homies. And when I got to that man face, I popped my shit with him, me and him. Like I said, Adam asked, "Like, what's your y'all good? Y'all good?" You know what I'm saying? Nah, we good, bro. We just getting this off. You know what I'm saying? I'm just letting him know how to, how I feel on this real shit. And I swear to God, he's sitting here like this, hand right back, a listening, taking everything in. Look, bro, for sure. I understand. I respect that, big bro. You know what I'm saying? Look, all it is with me, him, this and that, I feel this and that. I was the one. You know what I'm saying? So all that, like I said, yeah, I call him coward. I felt it was cowardness if a nigga, if a smarty, Call somebody first, tell him all this other stuff, and then get him on a podcast to destroy him. I was cowardice. 
on the hood. He tell me, bro, I had no clue with nothing. All it was supposed to be doing, him and Sharp. Sharp called me last minute and said, pull up. I pulled up. I would. I didn't have no recollection of who this nigga is, nothing. He just said, watch this interview and get a, get a little piece of it. Simple. All this stuff, I don't have all the information. So when I put all the information together at No Jumper, we put all the information together, all of his part of the story, this part of the story, ready to chop, it's cool. We're going to be straight. Everybody going to be straight. I actually going to be all right, cool. We nigga, that's straight. That's all I want, bro. I don't want him to get a story out, bro. I want him to come on here, this and that. Nigga, this is a, work, a place of business. You can't be trying to come over talk people. You can't be doing this. I'm telling him this stuff on the hood. Come on, bro. How you gonna break him down? You can try to give some game. So if you even on the podcast, give him good. Don't say that pimp shit. I told him the same shit. Stop saying that shit, bro. Stop saying that shit like that. On the hood. Stop saying that. I'm lying. I'm dying. Ask Kelpie if I ask me these questions. Straight up. Straight up. Come on, bro. I, man, listen. Like I said, I'm not here to come in this industry trying to, oh, you do Shirk Knight? No. We ain't no Shirk Knight shit. We dangerous, bro. We play dangerous games. We don't play no, we play other games. That's why niggas respect us on other levels. But like I said, nigga, ain't no nigga for to call me no bitch at all. I'm just keeping it real. Ain't no nigga for to see my face and say, you call me a bitch that I mean, I saw my mama. I told him out his own mouth, bro. You, that ain't, you know what I'm saying? I told him before that, nigga, don't just, don't call nobody no bitch and think he gonna just, and don't expect nigga to sock you, though. That ain't cool. That's not cool. After the, after what happened, all the shit nigga, we, me and him chopped it up. I'm sitting chopping over Kelpie telling me, he said himself, bro, like, I was just in the moment. I know I told you this. I know all this stuff. This nigga. Bro, I'm up there getting high as fuck, smoking multiple joints. I'm up there, nigga, with the weed. I'm kicking with prophetic flock. I'm walking away from the lobby. I'm doing all type of shit. I'm not knowing that nigga. He ain't on some... Hey, I'm walking away. I'm Listen, I didn't even see the fucking episode until it dropped because I'm walking away. I'm seeing certain shit because I know the tone was. He said he's going to be like this. Almighty already said this and that. We ain't going to be straight. Adam and Aaron ain't going to be no shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why I didn't go in there and no, no. Oh, this is a work place of business. I'm going there and a whole place of business. Oh, we're going in here just to triple some niggas. For somebody I met yesterday. Oh, I, I told him, man, we're going to walk in that building, my nigga. You told him, period, off the camera, bro. As long as you keep, stay professional, bro. I got you. Stay professional, my nigga. I don't want none of my niggas in the wrong. Straight up. Especially dealing with big platforms, different, different shit. You got other artists coming up. You got all this stuff. You don't burn bridges. You don't just burn bridges off no back because none of that. So, nigga, my people, stay professional, my nigga. Now, if they get out of hand, they got a hand, don't trip. But, don't, we ain't the ones who do it. Straight up. Tell them all that. Don't let jeans pump you up. I told them out of my mouth on neighborhood crib. Don't let that shit pump you up, my nigga. On some real shit. Don't think all of you know what I'm saying. Go in there and tell your story, my nigga. I'm going to make you tell your story, my nigga. Simple and plain. Went in there, sit there with that man for 30, like 20 some minutes. Dad, homies, breaking shit down, going off, telling them this and that, bro. On the hood. I'm trying to figure, like, I'm just trying to make sure he have his story out. I know this man from Can of Paint. I know this man from Can of Paint. I know this man from Can of Paint, bro. I don't like sharp. That's 1,000. If you're looking at the thing, I'm on sharp ass. I'm on nigga because I if he called you, nigga, and I, cause, all right, when I was talking to Kelpie, it was said that they knew. But the day it came when we were the jumper, he said in his own mouth that no, sharp only talked to him. And so it made me, all right, I didn't have that information. They had homies. You was told, I was told, it was miscommunication. I'm not going to say he said, oh, he told me, oh, them two, you know what I'm saying? But the story, we sit at the table when I got my little cool little five minutes to, they already told me, they, they talked to me at first, they just and that, all that was they. So it was they, I didn't like that. I, if they knew that, if they called you first and put you on the phone and that, that's coward shit. I stand on that. I told, um, oh boy, the same thing. I told Almighty the same shit. He told me, bro, listen, bro, I don't, 
Bro, all my niggas that fuck with you, you fuck with, nigga, you fuck with my homies, my real homies real life. Not industry niggas. Like, man, look, every nigga I know that know you, you a good nigga, man. Listen, all I'm on with him right now, we're gonna make some content, but uh, if he, 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 he ain't no pimp, I'm like, I know, I not. You know what I'm saying? I'm breaking it down, nigga. Listen, I did this and that, nigga. And I don't consider myself to like, that's, that's perfect. I'm not saying that. See, now, you ain't saying that you from the old school and you walk the blades and you do all this, this old school pimp shit, wear big fur coats and all this and that. Oh, that's you getting that. Now, I'm understanding, now I'm getting understanding what they, what the breakdown is about. I'm not understanding the breakdown, but I'm just saying, Kim already told him about sharp, you know, first of all, I don't like that shit anyway. I'll be, a lot of that shit be just, it's like federal shit to me. Simple. I'm going to keep it all clean. Him doing all this shit, doing on low jumper, it's like the federal shit. It's like feds. So that's why I don't like that shit anyway. So that's why in a minute, I, in, the, in the beginning, I just automatically like, oh, I ain't going to just fuck with Kelpie. I'm going to teach him something. I'm not just, oh, I'm going to sign into a contract. I want you to be a part. No, I pop my shit. Of course, I'm going to manage you, this and that. But of course, I'm still to this day, I'm helping him out. I'm helping him. Straight up. Like, don't do this, don't do this, don't do that. So we still own that type of shit. But at the same time, bro, I'm not on the guy. Like I told him, nigga, ain't no nigga going to do that to you. But you ain't going to do that to nobody else. You're not going to call him. If he didn't call you no bitch, you didn't call you no bitch. You can't call him no bitch, nigga. He ain't calling you no bitch or nothing that he ain't disrespecting none of that. He just did, I'm talking about the situation. Like, we, we agreed on the situation, we gon' open hands. We agreed that we could talk about the situation. You can't disrespect niggas. I don't give a fuck. And I don't give, nigga, I don't, I don't get paid to, I don't, I don't fucking bodyguard or, hey, yeah, guess what? You a bodyguard. You supposed to do this. For all you niggas that think that, y'all are cowards. That's the coward shit I'm talking about. Y'all hide behind shit. That's the shit I'm talking about, bro. They had homies. Oh, you put it, they put it automatically because, because you could, it, it gotta be. First of all, as a grown ass man, you put to jump up and fight. When everybody cut a room and everybody split up, but if he had that, he had that power, if, if he had that, that factor, nigga, to, oh, um, they broke us up. Now I can get off of him. If he has some type of umph to it, it'd have been a different type of outlook. All right, cool. He fought. You know, he can't fight that. Fuck it. I, you know what I'm saying? Because he tried. Kelpie wasn't trying right now at the time. He was like, fuck. He felt it. See, now that we talked, he like, he wasn't really hitting me. So he was like, I was just holding it. I didn't see the shit. I just, when, I, when I'm just, me and Pointed Flacco talking, like I said, I'm, as I'm seeing, boom, I'm seeing afterwards, when, when they, they, they on top, like, they, they are running in the room. I'm like, oh shit, they running in the room. I see them scuffling. I'm like, what the fuck? So then I run behind.